Good evening, campers, and welcome aboard the Starship Nightwish. My name is Commander Exorcist, and occasionally I do videos where I just kind of chat about um, what I'm thinking and some of the things I've seen and um, kind of my perspective on things. And today, uh, I just wanted to take a few minutes to discuss some of the recent events that have occurred in, um, in Elite Dangerous because uh, there's a shift. It hasn't, it, I don't think that it has fully manifested yet. But there is definitely a shift in uh, the community feeling and the general attitude toward the game. And a lot of that it comes from the fact that the game is in much better shape. It's in a much better place than it was before. And, um, you know, I really think there's no doubt about the fact that it's a good, it's a damn good time to be an elite dangerous commander. Um, if you've been a commander for years and you've gone through the last couple of years and couple of especially the last few months it can it's been rough but uh, the, those that have persevered um, there's there's good things coming there really is and it's a good time to be a commander I mean the the game is exciting right now and there's a lot going on there's a lot of buzz in the community and and you know there are communities that have kind of been, um, an idle mode that are coming back online and there's players coming back and people are are picking it up again and and it's just really awesome to see a lot of that happening and so um, there, there's no doubt about it that um, it may not be perfect but you, you can't go wrong with continuing to be uh, a commander in these days because um, there's a lot of stuff that's happening um, you know we, we just had the recent um, the Proteus wave failure um the uh salvation super weapon and it, it, we knew it was going to fail it was pretty obvious um sci-fi uh space opera type stories like that are filled with uh instances where you know the massive super weapon is prepared by all these thousands of people and then it just doesn't work but in this case um it not only backfired but it seems like the Thargoids managed to either hijack it or sat or that somebody sabotaged it. Um, the Far God cult recently announced that they were pleased with the outcome and celebrated the demise of the many millions and thousands of people that died in the system. So, you know, it makes me wonder if they had kind of a hand in in sabotaging it so that that could be part of the lore part of the story that we, we haven't seen yet um, but the Proteus wave has had some serious in-game uh, effects um, you know the, the cutscene just kinda tells you what happened but when you go into the game you've got this the the residual wave of energy that's still there at the Thargoid location and what happens is now Guardian technology is not useful in the system again so you know you have a you have like a guardian frameshift drive booster it starts to melt so there's uh there's some really serious in-game consequences and one of the big ones too is the fact that the thargoids are now holding territory and i know that that in today's society we kind of like to get things immediate we want you know we want it now we want the answers now we want the results now we want we want the content now you don't even know what content is when you say those things but in war, when it comes to war, especially an allied-based um, war effort, when something like this goes wrong, it's a major event. And you notice that the superpowers have pulled back, and there hasn't really been like a coherent response from the superpowers. That's actually very realistic. Um, it's been about a week, and we haven't heard from uh, the Emperor, we haven't heard from the President of the Federation, we haven't heard from these people. There hasn't been like a joint announcement of what's happening next. Um, just kind of like picking up the pieces of, of the remaining, uh, the ships, the people, and that we can try to continue to get out of the system that the Thargoids now control. And that's very realistic, that's very well done, because that's real, that's true. Like. You know, when something like this to this scale happens and it's and it doesn't work and there's this mass destruction, it throws everybody into chaos. And so it takes time. And at me as an individual, I have kind of a personal, you know, idea of what I think should happen, but in a bureaucracy it takes time for there to be like this corporate consensus 
before something is done. So the fact that the superpowers are taking a long time to do anything about what's going on, very realistic, very well done. And I, I this is just the beginning. I do not believe this is the end of this. And the fact now that we have on foot consequences for uh, what's happening um, within the game as far as uh, the remaining, Salvation's remaining uh, super weapon, the, the wave and how it affects ships in the system and now the weird, uh, the relics, the green relics, the guardian, the corrupted guardian relics. I mean, this, this is, this is, I really think this is just the beginning of something uh, really exciting and, um, you know, and, and, and it's really cool. Like I said, the community is shaping the story. Now, this is the thing about Elite Dangerous. You, you'll you see on community forums and things where people are kind of um, just constantly badgering for content and, and, and narrative, and they want all these things injected by the developers. Well, the reality is that Elite is us. We are we the community. Frontier did not create Buckyball Racing. They did not create the Fuel Rats, SPVFA, all of these these things that our sandbox galaxy uh, has has spawned. Th those are us. That's the community. And, you know, we have been shaping the story for a long time, but we're shaping it now in a way we've never seen before, especially uh, Commander Kralon. I think I'm saying that right. I hope I'm saying that right, brother. But he is in he's in Galnet. He's lore. He's immortal because of a discovery that he made after the attack. And this is new, and this is a big deal, because, you know, I, I, I don't expect and I don't hope that there'll be, you know, names in Galnet every week, but to see actual players that are recognized in the lore and the narrative that's being published and shaping the future of the game, you know, that's a big deal. That's a very big deal. I'm very excited about that, so... Kudos to you, Commander. And also, today was an amazing day for explorers because the first green gas giant, which we thought was lost, uh, I guess the story goes that it was discovered and then somebody lost it. And uh, when you consider that there's 400 billion stars in the galaxy and however many planets are in these systems, the odds of somebody flowing through that system and finding it again... Um, is just astronomical. I mean, it really, it's great. So this is a big deal for the uh, exploration community. So um, there's still a lot of, of, of uh, endeavors going on. There's expeditions going on. There's check the forums, check Twitter, check social media, um, check your Discord servers. There's always somebody out there doing stuff like this and looking for that next big discovery. So kudos to the, um, to the uh, independent explorers and the folks that... Um, that worked to find this. And now, for some final uh, final thoughts and final news. I have exciting news. Um, I am working overtime at the moment. I wasn't able to do an out there episode last week because I hurt my hand significantly, and I wasn't able to really do things as coordinated as I'd like um, for filming. Mm -hmm. But I have been working overtime to um, do out there episodes and kind of stack them in preparation for a move. I am finally uh, have gotten news that I am going to be leaving um, this confined space that I've been stuck in for the last five years and uh, my family is finally going to get something uh, something nice, um, something that'll be ours and, and something that'll allow us to grow and expand and just kind of stretch our legs a little bit. And so that's, for me, that means that, um, for one, I'm going to go silent for a while, um, coming toward the end of August, uh, for a short amount of time as far as producing new content here and on other social media, um, simply because I will not have access. But then, um, getting into a new place is going to enable me to kind of expand my setup and my uh, design and some of the stuff that I'd like to produce that I haven't been working on because I'm really limited in the space and uh, my abilities and where I'm at. So um, that is going to change. So I'm very excited about that. New place, new studio, new outlook, and, you know, things are good. Things are good right now. Um, the game is 
is beautiful. Look, this is this is the game. The game is looking great. The lighting, I they don't say that they didn't say in the recent update that they messed with the lighting, but I swear that every time they do an update, they're improving the ambient lighting on the planets and you know, there's it's like any other game. There's sick hiccups here and there, but it looks gorgeous. Get out there and explore. Find some atmospheric worlds and you know, just play around with it. But the game is, you know, there's still some people out there that are having some some um, struggles running it, and not really exact, not really sure what uh, what the root of that is, and and there, it could be any myriad of things. But at this point, um, the game itself runs really well, and um, I think that uh, it's, and it, you know, it's it's not not to really knock anyone, but the game at the at this moment is where it should have been a year ago. So we're we're a year behind. Uh, Odyssey is is in the state it should have been when it hit the store back in May of uh, 21. So um, the, the numbers are good though. We are seeing a lot of players in game, a lot of people participating in the narrative. There are new new squadrons, new factions, new people standing up. There's new players every day, and so we um, we're very happy to have all of you. And I'm excited to see so many new faces and some of the old faces that are coming back. Not that you guys are old, but you're old commanders. Like that's that's what I mean. So I'm very happy that you're coming back. So um, again, thank you for uh, thank you for spending a little bit of time with me. And um, I hope that uh, I hope that you know we can continue to to push some of the optimism and, and, and the encouragement because when we do, when we show the optimism and encouragement, and when we give um, credit where credit is due it's encouraging for the developers to continue to improve the game i mean we've got 400 billion stars out there there's all kinds of stuff we could do and um, i hope that we can continue to take advantage of all that so um thank you for joining me thanks for taking the time to listen um leave a comment below love to hear from you check me out on social media at commander exorcist or the patreon uh, link which will be in the description and it's at the beginning of the video right before the title sequence and um, everybody, you guys fly safe, and I will see you out there.